Hello guys, so today I want to discuss with you uh, something very interesting. Uh, have a look here, this is a Mariner Hanwin 3. Clearly it has broken, but okay, I do not want to scare anyone thinking that the brand is bad, thinking that laminate bowls are fragile, it's the break. No, let's put this in the context. This is actually a very very old bowl, probably from 2019. There's a date down here, but because it's covered by artificial sinew, I couldn't verify it unless I open this up. Okay, but anyway, I know this is from a very very old batch because that particular batch, uh, the the Ming Moon series are fine, the Warring States are fine, uh, all the long Sia bowl, which includes the Yuan and the Han Win, they all broke the same exact way, like that. So I know that batch has issue, and I was reluctant to send this unit out. So that's why it has been kept in the store for a number of years untouched. Um, I was just like, I, it's not about safety. It's not about safety because when I mean when they fail, they don't like people exaggerate it. People exaggerate. Oh, the bow is gonna explode. No, no, no. There is no explosion. There is no uh, shock wave. There is no fireball. Uh, there is no smoke. Uh, there's no mushroom cloud, okay? So when bows break, they're actually very, very boring. You just imagine when you pull it back and suddenly, in, in a, just a split second, uh, the bow just went limp, just, just bent, and then you're like, oh, what the hell happened to my bow? And you're just confused, looking at what's going on. Hey, the, the bow looks weird. Oh, shit, something happened to the bow. Okay, so usually when bow break, it's, it's quite boring. It's not like those exaggerated explosion, okay? It doesn't break that way. Uh, but anyway, the bow uh, of that batch is known to have issue, so I was reluctant to ship this out because if it breaks, which I'm expecting it to, to do so, uh, I will have to warranty it, right? I have to send a new bow, the shipping cost and all that. So that's why I was reluctant to ship it out of my store. Nothing to do with safety, okay? Uh, also, just several months ago when I, sh when I strung this bow up, I noticed there was uh, white spots down here indicating that uh, it is a sign of delamination, very early sign of de delamination down here, which is why I decided to wrap them up with artificial sinew. But interestingly, as you can see, this area here that was supposed to be the, the one that is starting to show signs of delamination is perfectly fine. And instead, this part uh, is the one that delaminated. Uh, and this part didn't show me any sign of delamination before it happened. So it just happened when I was not around. Okay, um, So that gives you the context of this bow, right, um, it's from a faulty batch and it has already shown signs of issue from months ago. Um, therefore, this bow, we just kind of fix it and see if, uh, if it will hold. And uh, well, clearly it didn't. Although it didn't actually break in the spot that we were expecting it to, uh, it, it broke somewhere else. But anyway, this bow actually is worth to investigate because Let's look at this area here. If you look at the bend here, this is a very severe, very sharp bend for a fiberglass. Okay? Fiberglass limb to bend this much in such a short distance is really extreme. And because right now it's covered by artificial sinew, we cannot verify if the glass has any splinter or cracks, which is why after this, I'm gonna actually uh, unstring this, and then I'm gonna cut open the artificial sinew, and we're gonna look into whether the glass is fine or not. Uh, so why I do so is because um, some some people, you know, they, they, when they bend the, the glass, and they say the glass is easy to break and all, but truth is, the glass actually is really the problem. As you can see here, uh, the problem is not the glass. The glass is fine, look at the glass. You see, there's no crack whatsoever. Uh, so after this, I'm gonna open it up to, to just have a look. 
Uh, see here, there's no, there's no fracture whatsoever on the glass. It's the core. The core delaminated and it just tears open. Okay, so the glass doesn't even snap when it's bent, being bent that much. So, now, if I didn't wrap this up, okay, what's going to happen when, when this delaminated, it's going to lose power and it's going to fold. And when it fold, this one might separate and this glass here might bend a very sharp 90 degrees. If that happens, a very sharp bend can cause the glass to snap. Okay, so regardless of how strong the fiberglass is, the material strain limit has, has a certain uh, limitation. So once you go past a certain angle, it's gonna snap. It doesn't matter what strength it is. Okay, the strength does not matter. Once you go past a certain angle, it snaps. So by when we bind it like this, what happens now is that the glass is unable to detach from the rest of the limb and so it couldn't reach the critical angle in which it will snap and that's why even at such an angle the limb is still holding up so glass strength is definitely not the issue here uh, problem is clearly uh, we have a glue failure yeah in fact actually I would say it's a glue failure because even the core itself is completely intact the core like the bamboo is fine the sear is fine. Um, it's really the glue here, the glue right here that has failed and then it sheared, um, tearing along the grain of the, of the sear. Okay, so now I'm gonna just pause the video and then I'm gonna cut this open and let's have a look at the damage of this area, all right? Hello, so I'm back with the bow. Uh, I've removed the artificial sinew as well as uh, clean up the surface from all the residual wax. And uh, it's quite interesting because let's have a look on the back here. There is no uh, fracture, no splinter whatsoever. The glass looks perfect like new. No damage whatsoever. The belly side, also, no fracture, no splinter, no damage whatsoever. However, there is some, uh, you can see this white spot, right? the white mark, big spot there. So what is going on is that when this uh, was forced to bend down very severely, uh, at a sharp angle, the glue between the core and the glass failed first, okay? The epoxy between the glass and the core failed before anything happens to the glass. The glass is perfectly fine, intact, no damage whatsoever. And what it means is that um, even in such a severe situation where it suddenly bends back, right? Um, the limitation is not the glass. The limitation is actually the epoxy glue. If you improve the strength of the glass does it help anything absolutely not because as you can see nothing happened to the glass the glass is not your limit the epoxy glue and the core needs to be improved now of course this is a very old bow uh, in the newer bows the core is upgraded but not the glue okay the glue is still the same old epoxy glue uh, the core has been upgraded uh, but Anyway, uh, I hope this, um, this wreckage here uh, teach us something, right? So the problem is not the glass, the problem is the core and the glue that would fail before the glass. But oftentimes uh, we might have a, uh, uh, a wrong perception that the glass is the problem, but it's not, okay, why? Because if there was no artificial, artificial sinew binding and holding it, what's going to happen? The glue between the core, delaminated, it sheared, okay, it sheared this way, pushing the uh, sia, the bamboo sia here, to separate along the grain. And when it separate, it loses strength, okay, it loses strength and it folds. When it folds, it bends this area very sharply 
the epoxy glue between the core and the glass fail. Okay, it is this failure here that causes the glass to separate out and become unsupported, then bends a very sharp 9 degrees, resulting in sometimes the glass crack. Uh, so having the artificial sinew, what it shows us is that by even though it's separated here, by holding the glass, supporting it, supporting the glass with the rest of the limb despite being delaminated, the glass did not break. So the limit is never the glass, it is the core and the glue.